My name is George Arthur Smith. I live at 3109 Silver Circle, Bumpy Minnesota. Drafted into the service in June of 1944. I took my basic training in Camp Robinson, Arkansas. I came back to Camp McCoy, Wisconsin for my leave, come home for 10 days, and went to Fort Meade, Maryland. Stayed there till the New Year's Eve, boarded the Queen Mary, and headed for Europe. We landed, landed nine days later and landed in Glasgow, Scotland. Got off the boat there, we took a donkey train as they called them, little small train, narrow gauge railroad. Went to Southampton, England, and on the way down where they stopped it. And then during the middle of the night, told us they had a USO there and we was gonna get some good American coffee and donuts from the USO. Okay, fine, that's good. I hadn't had any coffee for a week. So I went in my canteen cup and got my co coffee and went over and sat down at a table and come find out with tea with milk in it. <laughs> what a letdown. <laughs> Anyhow, I landed from Southampton, England. I boarded an LST, crossed the English Channel to, on uh, the 10th of, 10th of January, and uh, went in La Havre, France. The next day I was deployed up to into Belgium with the... Now, eight, what branch you were in the Army? I was in the, the Army. Um, what division? Uh, um, 87th? I was assigned to the 80, 87th Golden Lake on Division, part of the 3rd Army under General George S. Patton. If anybody ever met him, he's, he doesn't sound like a rough, gruff boy. But you ever meet him? I met him hand to hand when I was in the hospital in um, February. I took a piece of shrapnel through my arm. Where'd that happen at? At Roth, Germany. I crossed the Siegfried Line out of France into Germany and about oh, 80 rods into Germany I ran into a bunch of landmines and uh, we lost quite a few men. They were wounded mainly, no one was killed, but a lot of injuries. And we went from there, I went to, let's back up, we went from there, we went, yeah, I went from, I went from there, no, I went from, the heart of France, I stayed there up in a foxhole for about six weeks. I lived in, me and another guy lived in a hole in the ground, middle of the winter. And uh, so then from there we went into, up into Luxembourg, came back out into France, and then back into Germany. That's when we went into France, or Germany, in Roth, by Roth, Germany, where I went in. And then I was taken back from there back to France to the 95th General Hospital, where I was treated for my wounds in my right arm. And then I went back to my unit and went down, down across Germany and wound up in Czechoslovakia. Uh, right after the war was over, I, I went to, then from there I, from there then I went back, we went back up to Lahar, France, boarded a, uh, was a freighter in a D plus D minus seven. It was in Pearl Harbor on loading scrap iron. And the same sailors was on the boat then when I come back in 1945. So then I come back to the States. I came home for 30 days. Went to Fort Benning, Georgia. Took my went to get some six weeks of advanced jungle training, and our whole unit was ready to ship out to go to Japan. And we never, when the course of the war was over, when I was home on leave, so, but I still went to Fort Benning, Georgia. Was there till October, and I was uh, working in the uh, Repo Depot, they called it. It's a place where all the soldiers from Europe was coming back to be discharged and that. And uh, the uh, Japanese surrendered at that time, so I was home here at the time they surrendered. But I still went to Fort Benning, Georgia. I couldn't get out because I didn't have enough points in it. I hadn't been in long enough. So in December, I wanted to come home for Christmas. So the 12th of December, me and 12 other boys, all from around the Bemidji Bagley area, we went down and re-enlisted for another year. Why'd you do that? 
<laughs> Why did you re-enlist? Because I wanted to come home for Christmas. I hadn't been home for three years and I wanted to come home for Christmas. Oh. And I figured, well, I'll re-enlist. I'll have me 30-day re-enlistment. Boy, time and time and that, I get home for Christmas. Well, 11 out of the 13 of us got home for Christmas. Me and one other guy, they lost our papers. I got home the 3rd of January. A little unhappy, but that's right. I got home anyhow. Then I went from there, I went to back and I went to Fort Camp went to <clears throat> went to Fort Campbell, Kentucky and stayed there till December sixth of nineteen forty six and then I was discharged out. And uh, that was the end of my military career. Now when you were hit by shrapnel, what hospital did you go to? Ninety fifth general. And where was that? And I don't remember the name of the town. It was what, a little what country? It was a French town. French, okay. And Patton came by. Patton came through the barracks or through the hospital there one morning and uh, shook hands with all of us guys. So I should sit laid in bed and shook hands with the president with General Patton. Did he say anything? He just and this just you know I don't know how he was and we was getting good you know good treatment and everything for our wounds and stuff and I said yeah he was. At that time I couldn't use my hand because I do it cut the muscles up for the muscles muscles to my hand. Where were you when you picked up the shrapnel? I was in a, out in the middle of a swamp like. It was a kind of a, well, it was like a slew hole, quite a big one, but anyhow, there was, it was mowed part of it was, and then they had the rest of it, they had just brush and stuff out in there, and there's where the landmine was. It was kind of hidden in the grass, and you, you couldn't see them until you got right on top of them. And the one that Went off from me, it was off to the, my right, probably uh, maybe 20, 30 feet from me when it blew up. And it looked like, a, looked like a, a piece of concrete sticking on a stick, sticking out of the grass, but it had a tripwire in it. Who, it who set a, it off? Yeah, a tripwire was sitting yeah. there. Did on. you hit the tripwire? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't oh. hit the tripwire. No, not that I know of. How did it go off then? I don't know. Oh, oh. Somebody maybe it was somebody else tripped it because there was a lot of guys. We were we was out on a we was going out that morning. We left, left Germany or France went into Germany. We was on an uh, attack to go after Germans, and um, so whatever everybody was you know looking out for everybody else. But who tripped it? No, I no. have no idea. And you must have got involved in a few. Fire fights? Oh yeah, we seen a few of them. Got shot at a few times, but that was the only time they got lucky. <laughs> they missed. <laughs> and they missed. Okay. But um, I, uh, I did. I was in the hospital. Five week, Five weeks. I was in the hospital. They had. They sewed it up first, and then they got an infection in it. And they had to reoperate. So then it healed up all right the second time. So. Did you? Ever go to any of the prisoner of war camps when you were there? No, I never got to go into any of them. Uh, it, uh, from what I was told, just as soon as I didn't go, yeah. because I guess it was pretty Did you ever go back to Europe after the war? No, I haven't ever gone back. I've often wished I could, yeah. but I've never had the finances to be able to go back. Now, when you re-enlisted for the extra the year, extra year, what they have you doing? I went and I, <clears throat> at that time I was just working in this, uh, at Fort Bragg. I worked taking care of the, uh, cleaning the barracks and uh, keeping, they had a coal fire, big old furnace in there, we fired with coal. We had to keep the fire going until it was in December. And um, then that's all I did. Mm -hmm. I was on 12 hours and then I was off two and a half days I'd have off, so I, Kind of shook or stayed around, cleaned up, helped the other guys if I mm -hmm. could, and that. But um, then that, when I wanted to re-enlist, I I want to come home, but no go. Yeah, yeah. But I did get home eventually. But it was after Christmas. But do you ever go to any reunions of the 87th? I went to one of my 87th Golden Eagle Division reunions of 40 in. Uh, 
Oh, I'm trying to think of the year it was. It was either 81 or 82. I went to Oklahoma City. That's where I got my jacket. Okay. And, did, uh, did you bring back any artifacts? I, well, I brought back a 7mm German Luger, but um, oh. I couldn't bring no ammunition. Yeah, sure. See? I had ammunition up to the just the day before I got on the boat. When I got on the boat, they took and dumped our duffel bags, went through it with a fine tooth comb because there was no ammunition. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I did bring a bring some you know small souvenirs and stuff. I, I um, also found a big. I had an aunt that um, when I was younger, she had told me that if I ever learned how to play a piano or an accordion, and she'd get me one. So I found one over there, it was Italian made, all nice and laid, beautiful yeah. Yeah, accordion. And I give it to an army chaplain to have shipped back for me, he paid him money to ship it back to the States to my folks. But I never seen it, I never got my money, I never got my accordion either. So, yeah. that's <laughs> one of those things that happens in yeah, life. Yeah. Thank you, George. You're welcome, sir.